Welcome back to What's Up Cuz. How do your boys feel about their sister having a boyfriend? But I would be doing the same thing! Yes. You don't get along with me, there's a problem. <laughs> your family's opinion matters. Buddy had unexpected foot surgery. If you like the guy, go talk to him. That's probably the advice I would've gave too, I have to say. No, not at all. I raised her well, yeah. Erica. You made a good call. That's how I would approach it. She gets the days, I get the nights. Before she goes, I wanna answer this first. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to What's Up Cuz. I am a co-host, Eric Spiro. And I'm Lisa Velastro. And we have another guest today for the first time on the mm -hmm. show. We have Lisa's brother, Maurizio. Hello. Hello. Thanks for having me. Welcome to the show. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. I'm good. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> any, any updates for the family? What's the update this week? Well, it's funny because <laughs> I have an update for you, but coincidentally, it's funny that my brother is on this podcast because I received a package in the mail this week, a weird one, and I opened it up and it was a door knocker in the shape of a pineapple. Okay. <laughs> and the reason why I'm laughing is because there's a story behind it that my brother had to explain to me what that meant. So I actually, I never did any research on this, but... <laughs> I was actually at the store and I said, wow, this is a cute pineapple decoration. I'm going to get it. And then I was told, no, you can't get that because the pineapple means that you're a swinger. Okay, wait a minute. Let's rewind. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, I'm, wait. I'm confused. Let's rewind because this is going to get very confusing for everybody. Okay. So Erica, as you know, we redid our kitchen this past summer. Yeah. And, you know, it's a brand new kitchen, new colors. So once the kitchen was getting finished, I wanted to go accessorize it. So I you know, went online, I go on Wayfair, Amazon, you know, I'm more of an online shopper. And I put in, you know, my kitchen scheme is white and gold. So I'm like white and gold decorations. And, you know, you have the apple, the gold apple that comes on, the soap dispenser that's a pineapple. <laughs> then you have, you know, uh, you know, they, they have a whole bunch of different things. Okay. I happened to get a soap dispenser that was a pineapple. I think there was a multiple pineapples then there in was, this scheme. Then there was a gold pineapple, and I got that one too. She went pineapple heavy on the decorations. <laughs> Just like because they all were gold and cute? Yeah, like, okay. what the hell do I know? <laughs> so then, fast forward a couple months, and something had broken in the kitchen, and I had to have the repair guy come here. And he walks in, and out of nowhere, he goes to me, what's with the pineapples? <laughs> <laughs> I go, what do you mean? <laughs> Kitchen decorations? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's what I said. I, I remember it clearly like it was yesterday. I'm like, I don't know. They're cute. Kitchen decorations. <laughs> There's fruits. Kitchen, you know. Yeah. He let the subject go. He goes, oh, okay. <laughs> Fast forward another couple weeks. Yours truly comes <laughs> over. <laughs> and I think he said the same thing. Yeah, so what's up with all the pineapples? What's up with the pineapples? <laughs> I go, why the hell is everyone asking me about my freaking pineapples? Right. And he explained to me yeah. what that meant. And then I'm like, oh my God. Wait, so what does it mean? It means you're swingers? So you went out and bought a doorbell knocker? No, for no, 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 no. I was like, wait, I'm going to continue the story. <laughs> but it's just coincidental that I got this in the mail this week and you're on my podcast because you're the one that explained to me exactly what a damn pineapple means. No, but you know what? I have an update to that. I think the pineapple has to be upside down. Okay, see, Wait. you keep learning something new every day. Okay, but for the for the <laughs> listeners, what does the pineapple mean? What did you say to Lisa? I heard that the pineapple means, like, this is a house of swingers. It's a like, symbol well, for swingers. Yeah. It can be, yeah. Like, An come, online come dating, on too. In. Okay, well, do I look like a person <laughs> that would know something like that? I, I mean, uh, hello, we talked about in our last podcast that you went to a Magic Mike show. I said, well, I've never even been to any of those shows. Yeah, I know. You think I, know. I would know what a pineapple means? It's a new one. I mean, I remember hearing the community of swingers were trying to think of a symbol of some way to, like, quietly communicate. But I guess, I guess pineapple is what they landed on. Who but the hell pineapple knows? also means welcome, doesn't it? I thinking it's a kitchen, it's a fruit, <laughs> That's a really it's a welcome. decoration. <laughs> <laughs> a really friendly welcome. <laughs> what 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 am I, you know? I don't know. My mind is not in the gutter like yeah. you know everyone else's is. So now let's fast forward again. And I told my husband this story, and he starts cracking up because, you know, he he thought it was hilarious. Yeah. So Fast forward again, he goes on a on a business trip to uh, with one of his friends, and he happened to tell his friend the story 
and didn't tell me he told his friend. Right. And next thing I know, I, I get this package and it's a door knocker of a pineapple. But there's no card in it. I didn't know who it was from. And I opened it and I was confused. Yeah. I'm like, someone's playing a trick on me now. At first, I actually thought it was him. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That's, yeah. you know, that's who I thought. No, it wasn't me. So then my husband comes home that night and I said, do you know anything about this? And he starts laughing. He goes, I know exactly who sent that. I go, who? And he told me. I go, well, how the hell does he know? He goes, because I freaking told him the funny story. Yeah. So put two and two together. Now I have a pineapple door knocker that I will not be putting up <laughs> just to let you know. But it was just coincidental that I got that in. He's here. And that's where my story is. Your son's going to put on a dorm wall. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who are you buying a pineapple for that you got told? No. No, it was the same concept. Like it looked, it was something that would look. Oh, just for your house. own house. Yeah. yeah, we didn't know oh. nothing about this pineapple thing. Oh, okay. So I you found out when I you were just, decorating yourself. Yeah. I, and so like your girl told you, she was like, no, no, no. Yeah, no, you got to like really, before you buy anything nowadays, you got to <laughs> see what it stands for. <laughs> got to Google it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh man. So you idea. knew about this whole thing? I knew of it vaguely, but it's, but I don't live in the suburbs. I live in the city. And I'm, you know, not married and my friends aren't really married yet. So it's more, I've seen it on dating apps. Oh, I've seen well, people I wouldn't put know I'm not on any dating apps. And I was like, I'm not sure what this means. And then I looked it up. But it's like, there's always some term that people write on a dating app. And I'm like, what is this? Like, <laughs> sapiosexual is one, which means Never you're attracted to intelligence. That's what that means. But there's like there's so many thing? versions of that. I'm like, I feel like anytime I see it, I'm still looking it up. I'm like, which one's this one again? <laughs> oh, what does my. this one mean? And stuff God, like that. I have better get with the times here. You'll never be able to keep up. You just gotta just, just let it run right past you. Yeah, I, I I don't know. What am I, I gonna know. do? I'm like, I guess. Well, I guess it's a quiet symbol. Of, if another couple comes over, they're like, I guess they're open to that. I guess is what it is. <laughs> well, how do I? Is there a symbol to let people know we are not open? <laughs> <to that? laughs> is there like you know another another piece of fruit that I could put outside that yeah. says? Turtle you know, like sweater. It's monogamy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We put the pineapple in a sweater. <laughs> it's like, nope. <laughs> you put like an engagement ring on the pineapple. It's like, nope, nope, nope. I don't, I don't, I don't get it, Erica. I do not get it. But that's my weekly update. I'm like, I, come to think of it, I'm like, I think I have a cousin that lives in Florida, and she just has a lot of pineapples because Florida. Yeah, <laughs> right. right? Like she was like, oh, tropical and like decorations. Maybe. Yeah, cute. Yeah, you Maybe I don't know. Now I don't know. Maybe I gotta ask her. I gotta ask her. What's up with these pineapples? <laughs> Oh, oh man. boy. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for coming on, Maurizio. <laughs> we're excited to have you. We, we're not trying to get you in trouble, but uh, <laughs> uh, we do have some fan questions we go over, so we'd love to have your opinion on some cool. of these questions. So, uh, guys, again, if you want to email us a question, it's whatsupcuzpod at gmail.com. That's whatsupcuzpod at gmail.com. Okay, so this first one is called Birthday Gift. Dear What's Up Cuz Pod. My birthday was last month, and I went to see my family during that week. I work in a hospital, so the fact that I was able to go at all and leave my patients was a huge gift to me. However, my boyfriend was not able to go back home with me. I thought at least when we got back, we would go somewhere or maybe a little gift when I got home for my birthday. I'm not a material person, but the thought would be nice. I asked him if we could do something, and his answer was always maybe. Then on the last day I asked, he said, okay, but didn't confirm. Then when I got home and I was waiting for either a present or some sort of affection, considering that he always tries to do something every year, but I didn't get anything. He said we wouldn't be doing anything since I got to go to my hometown instead. He's expecting me to do the dishes and clean the house and make uh, clean the house that he made dirty for the whole week that I was gone. I'm extremely upset as he expects to go to a fancy restaurant and more on his birthday. Was I wrong to expect, expect some sort of present? I even offered to pay for it myself if he would just drive us there. Thanks. We got a, we got a male I, I, I'm opinion a here. I'm speechless right now. I, I want to hear his opinion first. Yeah, because mm. you, you have a girlfriend. If she went home for her birthday for the week, came back. What I would mean, you do? I, I'm the wrong person to ask. I typically go overboard on these things. I'm a big gifter. I'm, I'm not huge at going out regularly, but when there's okay. an occasion, I, I throw down. I do what I got to do to... To make my special person feel special, I yeah I like something. To think. Or, or can you imagine your girlfriend being like, "Hey, when I get back, let's do something for my birthday," and you're like, "Maybe." Like, eh. Eh. 
That's no, crazy. No, I'd 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 have I'd have a, something waiting for her when she got back. That's the part that's crazy to me. Yeah. Is she asked. Yeah. It'd be one thing if she just came home and said, "Oh, there was nothing," and I, you know, would have been happy to have a surprise. But to say like, and then when I come home, I would like to do something with you, and nothing. Is there more to the story? I don't know. Yeah, hit the road, Jack. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna I'd, say. Um, um, listen again. Everyone's situation, everyone's financial situation is different. But how about just cleaning the house and and making her come home to a nice clean house and maybe a card would have been sufficient the way it sounds. Yeah. You know, like I would have been happy with that. Mm -hmm. You know, just some acknowledgement that it's my birthday and I'm coming home, you know, doesn't mean it's got to be this big extravagant. All right. If he didn't want to go out, that's fine. But make it special at home then. Yeah. You know, clean the house, make a little pasta vodka, set up a little picnic little card that's all that's all she needed that's all she wanted like come on it's time to hit the road <laughs> yeah i can't oof what really crushed me is the end when she was like i even was said i'll pay for it i was like what that's if not she's even... gonna stoop that low come on yeah to get no. someone to maybe, do anything maybe it's already over and he's i don't know i just Something what? doesn't sound right. Yeah. The pieces of the puzzle are not coming together. Yeah, I just because I feel like women will often complain about something, right? But they don't communicate it to the other person. Mm -hmm. And men always are like, "Well, we're not mind readers. Mm -hmm. I need to know, mm -hmm. you know, what you want, what you need, mm -hmm. right?" Like, yeah, please. Like, does it make you mad if your girl's <laughs> like, "Hey, I'd really like it if you did this tomorrow"? Like, are you Never. like, "Thank God, I'm I know." <laughs> always appreciated. It's just a little, a little bit that helps. Yeah. It right. helps. No, the mind reading, that's that's where things go go wrong. Right. So but this is not the mind reading situation. No, she so. was very blunt. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, and on top of it, I come home and the house is a mess. I'd yeah. be like, absolutely not. No. <laughs> definitely, definitely move on. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. This is I know it's not so easy to break up, but unless this there's is more to the story breakup. that we don't know about. Yeah, we, we have might to have to always... hear the guy's side. Like you can't just ah! <laughs> I don't know. Look it's, at the guy's side view. It's going to be tough for him to defend that. <laughs> yeah. It's very, very, yeah. very tough. Because yeah. remember, two wrongs always don't make a right. Absolutely. So, but something is not coming together for me. But do you think you think this one incident, it's it's enough to be like, hey. Yeah, because this if this is happening while they're dating, what do you think is going to happen after they get married? Yeah. I mean. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you. I don't disagree, you know. Yeah. It's just sorry. Yeah, I can't. I I'm can't imagine. Sorry if that's not what you just wanted to hear. <laughs> yeah, it might not be the best. Anyway. Sometimes a beautiful card that you wrote yourself is just enough. That's I how agree. I feel. I don't think it needs to be too much. Exactly. Um, all right. Well, thank you for emailing in. Let us know yes. if there's an update. Yeah, uh, we'd love to hear it. And if you guys want to send us an email, it's what's up cuz pod at gmail.com. That's what's up cuz pod at gmail.com. Okay, so this next one is called Changing My Last Name. Lisa and Erica. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the podcast. The best part of my Monday is getting a notification that the new podcast is here. Here is my question. I am 23 and newly engaged. I will soon be facing the decision of should I change my last name to his or keep my own last name? Growing up, I didn't like my last name and people often made fun of me for it. So I always knew I wanted to change my last name when I got married. The kicker is my fiance is Asian. His last name is 14 letters long and is very difficult to pronounce. I also feel strange about having a last name that doesn't match my own ethnicity, if that makes sense. I'd love to know your advice. What would you do in my situation? Is me not liking his last name a good enough reason to just keep my own? What would you have done if you didn't like your fiance's last name at all or husband's last name? I don't know if I'm being petty or immature when it comes to this. I just want to make the right decision. Lots of love, Caitlin. Well, my opinion on this is I come from the old school that you take whoever you marry's last name. Um, but I think also I fast forward to more so when you have children. Yeah. And I've through the years thought that even I think hyphenating a name, keeping your name, but also adding your spouse's last name is a good idea because when you do have children, they will be having the same last name as, as that. Right. So my opinion to her would be hyphenate it. Keep yours and have his because your children are going to have his too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I wouldn't want my children to have a different last name than me. Yeah, That's how I feel. I don't, she's already saying how many letters are in his and the letters <laughs> are hers. Now she's got 
two full alphabets by the time she's done with it. Who wants to fill out that paperwork? Do you forget what my full first name, middle Mauricio name? Mauricio Antonio Beljovine. Don't start with me. <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth Angelica Beljovine. Mine's like three miles long. So yeah, I know. <laughs> you guys got some big passports, huh? Exactly. Yeah, I, I'll never forget filling out those, what's that called? Mm -hmm. The Scantron yep. stuff in school. And you mm -hmm. got to do a bubble letter, every letter. <laughs> and then... And then your name, the end of your name gets cut off. Yeah. And then first day of class, everybody shouting for for Maori, Ma, 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 uh -huh. And I'm like, no, there's some letters you're missing over there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Same thing happened here. I know. So, so I was yeah, gonna say no, Italians exactly. have the long names too. We got the long names. I don't. I'm lucky. I got I got four, five letters. <laughs> Hence the reason why my children only have like five letters. Yeah. In the first <laughs> there's Shortened a reason it. for everything. Shortened it. Yep. Okay. So yeah, I, listen, I get it, but I still wouldn't want my kids to have a different last name than me. That I understand. And also just is easier for literally everything, mm -hmm. you know, that you have to register them for or related mm -hmm. and pick them up from school and yeah. all that stuff. What do you what's what's the what do we have the male opinion on this? Because you you've been dating someone a long time and yeah, honestly, that day might be I for you. I agree with Lisa on this one. That's probably that that, that's probably the, the the middle ground would be hyphenating. Uh, and I'm the le I'm always one for saying, yeah, go you take the husband's name, but that's that's probably a good middle ground. Good compromise. Good compromise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know plenty of people now. It's like legally their name is the same as their husband's, mm -hmm. and whatever their profession is, they just still go by the name that they're known. But that's also because, like, I'm you know thirty, I'm turning thirty two soon, and it's like people that are established in their careers, whatever it is, they're like, well, if I'm known for this name. If yeah, I, I switch, it like causes mm -hmm. confusion. But legally, and they're like, oh, yeah, you can call me Mrs. Mm. Da da da, and yeah. all that stuff. Like, I, I feel like that's also a version of a compromise I keep seeing. Mm -hmm. Like, that might happen to me of just doing comedy. I'm like, well, I've built a name with Spara. Absolutely. And if I married someone and it mattered to them of taking their name, I would be like, look, just in this world, though, I, that's how I'll be referred. But like, legally, of course. And mm -hmm. if people call me Mrs., whatever their name is, I'm like, no, I'm not offended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and same thing with the kids, because I yeah. agree on the kids part. That's the part that's hard. That's that's the part that that makes it a difficult decision is because, like I said, I would want to have the same name as my children. Yeah. So that's where I stand on it. But to each his own. Everyone yeah. does what they like. Or also, I mean, I think the biggest thing is to talk to, you know, your future husband about it. Yeah. Does it matter to him of taking the name? It's true. Because I have I actually have seen, it's very rare, but I have seen some couples, they take the wife's last name. Really? Due to the husband not liking his last name. But she don't like hers either. I know, exactly. That's the part that this is She wants the wife different. to say, they got to sit down and think of a new last name for their <laughs> yeah. family going forward. You it could. It can be whatever you want. That's you guys sit down and make up a new one. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, what if he says, oh, I don't like mine either. It was such a pain in school and no one knows how to say it. You know, yeah. you never know. You yeah. never know. It's that rare. could be a really good compromise <laughs> rare, for the two of them. That could happen. It could happen. I've never heard of that happening, but yeah. Yeah. It's one of those things I think at the end of the day, it's your decision, but you got to you gotta talk that out with your partner. Yeah, definitely. There's no right or wrong. It, no. It's whatever the decision you guys make together. My opinion, though, I wouldn't want my kids to have a different last name than me. I get it. That's the only thing that would, you know, steer me in that direction. That makes sense to me. So anyway, that is that is all we have for today. So thank you so much for coming on. Thank Mauricio. you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. It's been and fun. If you guys want to send us a question, it's what's up cuz pod at gmail.com. That's what's up cuz pod at gmail.com. So thank you all for listening and watching. And we'll see you next week. Till next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.